Hello and welcome to Fanpage Karma. My name is Carsten and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a cool table like this here, which I created for Chevrolet's Facebook page, and how you can find out, for example, that product-related Facebook posts with a neutral tonality, like this one here, with 0.3% post interaction, yield more interaction than, for example, promotions that come along with a little pally tone, like this one here, which only yields 0.02%. This is a new way of analyzing your content on Facebook, which is possible with our new feature called tagging. With tagging, you can tag and categorize your Facebook posts and find out which combination of tags and therefore what kind of content is working best for your brand on Facebook. You find the tagging in the benchmarking area right below the dashboard overview or as part of our detailed analytics for a single Facebook page. Here, we have the evaluation table on the right, a little control area on the left, and of course our time period selector here on the top. First, let's take a look at the table again. In the top row, we see some examples of post categories. Here in the left column, we see some kinds of tonality. And this setup now allows us to see which category tonality combination works best. For example, here, the fan community post with a little pally tone to it. Of course, you don't have to stick with our tech recommendations. You can delete rows or columns. Add individual tags or complete tag groups here. And create your own metrics that provides exactly the insights you want to know. And if you get curious about this number here, for example the 0.03%, just click on it and the list below shows you which posts belong to that particular tag combination. Okay, let's scroll up and look at the left side of the screen. Here we can set the KPIs shown, change the content of the rows, and we'll get to that in a second, and customize the look of the table by activating or deactivating the cell coloring, hide the other text and total areas, and even remove the add row column links to make the whole thing screenshot ready, which is a big time saver if you want to use it in a presentation or an article. You can see the links are gone, and now you can just take a screenshot and put it wherever you want. Let's see what happens if we change the content of the rows to pages. As you see, the rows get replaced by the pages we've chosen up here. Right now it's just one, and we get a nice and quick overview of how our post categories relate to the page, for example, that posts about products are way more engaging and common than posts about the company. Of course, if we select more than one page up here, we'd see all the selected pages listed below. If we choose post types as rows, the pages or page are now replaced with the typical Facebook post types like status, video, pictures, etc. Which for example shows us that videos are much better for promotion than pictures. Of course the whole evaluation with post types and your own text works perfectly with more than one page selected at the same time. Okay, so let me show you how the tagging works and don't worry, it's super easy. First we go to the post list. Here we see all posts that were published in the selected time period. On the left side you see some infos about the post like which page published it, the date, a thumbnail, the content and the like, comment and share numbers. And of course there's the most important part, the tags on the right side here. As you can see we already set up some standard tag groups and a couple of tags. Of course you don't have to use these, just click on edit tags and rename a tag, delete a complete group by clicking on this little trash ban here or create a new one by clicking on the link down here. Please be aware that within a tag group you're not able to select more than one tag. This makes the evaluation easier and prevents overlappings in tags which makes it harder to interpret them. So just choose one and choose wisely. And last but not least, you can also filter the post list and see exactly which posts match the selected criteria by clicking here on filter by tags and then select your tags which you want to see. That's about it for now. Just give this really powerful feature a try and find out what makes your Facebook post really successful and what your competitors are up to. Thanks for watching and goodbye.